Greetings, Commanders! I am Melt, your host for On The Pulse News, or Arc of War News. I don't know what we're calling this, but it's a news segment. Let's jump into it. Today's first story and all the rage around line chats has been hacking, has been brought to the forefront. Um, there were some, you know, titillating images of FBI or GBD's 66, the first 1 billion power player, uh, to actually start taking severe losses. And I don't know if he was zeroed or if he just lost his army. Uh, but basically, someone had found a way to hack the game. I won't uh, put their name out there. That doesn't matter. It was just a member on their server. Someone found an, an exploit. Um, I want to cover it. In to start, the account that was damaged was fully restored within 12 hours, and the account that was hacking was banned and frozen. Um, there's four types of cheating in this game. People use the word hacking very loosely. Let, let's cover that. Um, there's four major types, right? The first is just using macros, right? If you use macros to... Uh, click the screen for you to build troops, to farm tiles. Um, that's a form of cheating, right? You're not playing the game. You're using software to do it for you. Um, that's the least severe, probably the most common. The second is actually using artificial intelligence, bots, software that actually runs timers and runs an emulator in the background for you um, using multiple accounts, multiple instances. Uh, this is far less common. It does require a much higher level of software control and understanding and programming. So those services usually cost money. Uh, I don't know of anyone that actively admits to using those. And frankly, the amount of resources uh, and benefit to using that software is not that worth it. It doesn't really make it worth the $40, $60 a month they want to charge you. Um, I'm not going to say it has no effect. It does have an effect. You know, on a used on a mass scale, it can be a problem. But every time a server merge happens, uh, you can't make any new accounts. So those kind of farming bot accounts don't exist as much. Uh, more often, it's just people selling other resources to other players. So I don't worry too much about those two, thing, two things, right? Those are things you can't really control. The developers know about. If you see anyone using those things or you suspect them, report them to the devs. That's the best thing you can do. Keep reporting them until it gets fixed. That's how you, you solve those. The other two forms of cheating are actually using the local APK or the app itself and modifying values uh, so that on your screen, instead of me having 4,000 peasant gold, I would have 400,000. I would tell the game that and then I would be able to spin the game. And by the time the server figures out what I've done, they will cross-reference on their side and realize I shouldn't have been able to do that. And then there's a redundancy check and then that type of hacking gets fixed. That's the most common type of gold hacking we've always seen. The reason everyone is so excited about this FBI or FBI 66 story uh, is because they did it with leadership and troops and no one had done that on a mass scale yet and hit a big target. I'm not going to say it hasn't been done because it has because the type of people that play games like this that have this kind of ability and software interest, uh, they do it but they have accounts that are worth money so they don't go doing it on their main accounts or blowing it up or exploiting it to this stage. Uh, the bottom line I want everyone to know is, is these players get caught. These are not permanent changes. You cannot find a way to hack our game and get away with it. The biggest players in this game paid for it. They, they paid for their spot. They earned it by being good. They earned it by not getting zeroed. And they have a good guild behind them. They didn't just cheat and use software. It is possible to get a, a temporary advantage for a day, maybe a second day. But usually the devs catch it within 24 or 12 to 24 hours when servers reset. It's nothing new. It's something I typically don't like to cover on this channel um, simply because it's just, it's bad for the community. You know, people don't want to believe me. Um, it, it gets that thought in people's mind that other people are cheating, so I may as well quit. It's not happening. I don't want to get that idea out there. Just stop. The player got uh, stopped. The player's account got stopped. Um, here's one of the interesting replays. I'll show it just as a historical reference. It's an interesting thing that happened in the game. We can reference that if anything major happens in the future. But I kind of want to end it at that. That's the end of it. This isn't going to affect the Galactic Battle playoffs. And let's use that as a segue. Um, well, let's use this. This guy has... What's the leadership here? Times 20? Uh, it's uh, 214... Uh, I don't even know. He, he hacked leadership. He hacked troops. It's 2 billion, 20 billion, 400... 400 billion leadership on a Cerberus. It's just broken. It's just broken. So the server redundancy check didn't catch that. Um, I don't want to go into any more detail about how the server works. I, I do have some knowledge of it because people hit me up and ask me and tell me about the things they've done. And uh, I want to protect the game and the players. So that's the end for the hacking story. Let's talk about the playoffs. For those of you that don't know, story number two. The Galactic Battle Season 7 playoffs are underway. Unfortunately, my guild, God Chaos... Uh, we did not make it into the round of 32. One of our server rivals did. Uh, wow. Uh, so some of our members may be joining them. I may be joining them. I don't know. We'll see if they uh, if they want to do that. Actually, no. They did lose their game. I will not be joining them. That's too bad. 
Uh, but the round of uh, thir oh, yeah, round of 16 has started. That means we have five weeks left. So join in on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and sometimes Fridays to cheer on your favorite teams. If you don't know who to cheer for and you just started watching this channel, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we have a lot of favorite guilds here. Uh, most of them are English-based because we're an English-speaking community. Uh, but most of the guilds are multicultural, right? We have a lot of Chinese, a lot of Spanish, a lot of Portuguese, Russian. I don't know. Most of the guilds have all the major uh, languages in them. So if you're looking for a guild to support, uh, personally, I am a big fan of FBI, uh, ALD, TNB, NYC. NYC's GAN, probably my favorite player in the game. Star has some great community members. Um, there's just a lot of great guilds out there. Frankly, Visa, I, I love what Visa's doing right now. They're a big up-and-coming guild. Um, there's a lot of great players out there. A lot of our community members, I, I don't memorize their guilds, but um, check out these games. Go in, say hello, introduce yourself. Uh, it's a lot of fun to watch the Galactic Battle playoffs. And most importantly, why I wanted to bring this up is there's another segue. The meta is shifting, right? We were always talking about stat-ignoring commanders like Vega, like Gilly, like Nekajiro, uh, being able to ignore your opponent's base HP, base defense. Well, with the new penetration meta coming in, commanders that were kind of being put to the wayside like Golem, uh, like Stella, because they didn't have that hard-hitting ignore stat ability without triggering a gem like Leo or Sagittarius... Uh, now, with the new penetration gear, we are finding that uh, if you stack it high enough, I'm talking 60-70%, you can get the benefits of those gems in the gear, but you're still going to be soft on the total attack damage. Notice the attack isn't that high. Uh, but you can, get that, you can get that damage back with commanders like Golem, like Stella. Uh, so we are looking for a shift in the playoffs. We are having players check all the new gear in the new matchups. And most importantly, uh, to come out of this segment, is I am looking for... Nekajiro versus Gilly versus Vega. Nekajiro and Gilly, who's the better counter to Vega? Now that everyone is shifting into HP gear to get away from the defense gear because of nonviolent resistance, because of Vega ignoring defense, uh, the ignore HP from Neko is huge, um, but also having that penetration gear followed with a, a Golem's Crush or a bunch of uh, follow-up attacks with Stellet is uh, proving to be very interesting. So, if the penetration meta keeps developing the way we think it's going to develop, we're going to see a lot of opportunities for commanders that we were overlooking because they simply didn't have that hard-hitting power. We're going to see a lot of those commanders come back to the forefront. Commanders like Moonshadow. Commanders like... <laughs> uh, commanders that didn't have a chance. So Thunder Ray. Uh, as weird as Thunder Ray is, Galileo. Galileo might make a chance if he can get that penetration. Any commander that can really benefit... Uh, ben Benefit from ramping up damage and ignoring his opponent's stats is going to do really well. So the meta is shifting. The Galactic Battle Playoffs is where we get to see the Tier 12 versus Tier 12 players with the best gear show us how it's done with what gems and how that meta is developing. So um, it's really exciting. It's an exciting time for our channel. Let's talk about our channel. The fourth and final segue. We hit 5,000 subscribers. Yay! Thank you, everyone. Um, what a great goal. I mean, I've always... Uh, I never really cared about hitting subscriber numbers. The whole point of the channel was always to just put out content to interact with players and show proof. And that has developed over the last couple of years into a huge uh, just community from Discord, that ridiculous Badger setup, uh, to the Reddit, to the six line channels I moderate, uh, to there's a WeChat community. Uh, the game just keeps developing. And I want to say... You know, even if you're watching this for the first time, if you're one of the 37% that are not subscribed to this channel, you may think that you're just one person, you're one insignificant person, but you're not. You, you are just one person. The person that sent me this backdrop was just one person. The person that sent me this pin was just one person. And getting involved in this game, in this community, once you start fostering that growth, it really does develop into a bigger and bigger thing. So for the 5,000 subscriber uh, special. I was going to do like a one video special, but really I just, I had so many ideas I wanted to roll out because of all the community support. Um, we're doing a lot of new things. I've kind of hinted around at it with the line chat, uh, but here's the things I'm going to drop on you for sure that are coming. And then some other things that I think are more conceptual ideas that may not pan out. We'll see. The first thing is the quality of the videos should be greatly increased. We're scaling everything up to 1080p and 60 FPS. I don't know how that's going to work, but we're trying it. Second, all the major episodes are going to start getting intros. Um, the whole point of, of upgrading this channel is to give the subscribers and the paid promoters of this channel what they want. And that is to log in every morning at work or at home or at school 
and just watch a five to 15 minute video of what's going on in Arca War. What's Melt saying today? What's the new commander breakdown? What's the new meta? Did I miss anything last night in the playoffs? Um, I want to be that hub for Arc of War now. I want to try it out every day or at least seven Pirates games. I want to do seven uh, the, the Sky Kingdoms as well. Um, so that's the point. I want to increase the quality. I want to put out daily content. And if you want to be a part of that, uh, check out the description below. Definitely hit subscribe. Um, there's a lot of new stuff coming for the, the new shape of the channel for that 5,000 subscribers mark. Final thing I'll say is this. With the playoffs coming, I'm probably going to be doing less meme review and a lot more live streams just to go out and watch the playoffs at night. Usually that's 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That was my doorbell. Um, if you want to come and watch the playoffs with me, please do. Log into the live streams. In order to get notified when they go live, just hit the bell icon. I can't guarantee a time. My schedule is a little bit crazy sometimes, but just hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when the live streams come on and join us and the rest of the community members uh, in cheering on the other teams and uh, join us online. Check the description below. So thanks for watching. We'll see you this season of the Season 7 Arc of War playoffs. My name is Melt, and goodbye. For those of you that were wondering what the doorbell sound was at the end of the video there, <laughs> after I film, I finished filming and ended the video, I went walking back to the kitchen and uh, there was two little girls at my front door, still waiting after about a minute. I didn't realize they'd be waiting. I thought it was someone trying to sell me religion. But I got a bunch of new citrus. The little girls are like two five-year-olds. They're handing out fruit in the neighborhood. Isn't that adorable? Anyway.